yeah it feels great to be alive it feels amazing to be living to be living and all that I had to drink some water because I'm going to be really taking a long distance. So, I had to prepare myself with some water. So, I wanted to tell you something. Yesterday, as I was filming the night experience, as somebody tried to grab, he didn't try, I just got lucky maybe because he, he did really, like, he really grabbed my phone. And it was by chance that I had to keep this phone, but it was taken. So I can imagine, man. So that's like God was there for me and gave me that miracle again. Yeah. So I'm not taking any more chances. I've tried to tie. Like, like I've tried to tie my phone whenever I'm filming in the public. I'll be tying myself with this one. Even if somebody grabs it, I will still have this phone with me. So, I had to take some more security measures. But I just wanted to tell you about it. I feel like somebody had to do it. That guy really tried to grab my phone. I don't know. But because of the way that I feel, I was... Like, I thank the Almighty. It didn't happen. So let me try to see if even if somebody right now tries to grab my phone, it will be going with my, with my whole hand. Yeah? So, yeah. So I, I, uh, the cover of my phone is, is where I did put these ropes. So, for me to be able to the film without fear. So right now I can film even if somebody tries to grab to steal my phone it can't be happen. It can't happen because the phone is now tied on my hand. Unless the person is taking my hand like he wants to take the phone with my hand which I think is impossible. So today I started filming from way 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 behind even before I reached the other place where I'm going. So it's going to be a long distance. I need to hurry up. Sometimes I really need to hurry. Like being hurrying, yeah? Yeah. So how are you doing? This video is called, how are you doing? I'm always asking you, how are you doing? But I ask you by showing you my reality. But I recall most of this reality coming to Kampala. Yeah. So I record and I go up to Kampala. Where that I'm supposed to be going. Yeah. Okay. Like I was saying, I record, I film. I don't want, I don't want, yes, I record, but at the same time film, right? So I'm going to be again. It's the city is again empty, man. I don't like it when the city is empty because the security, when there are less people, man, and the security when the city is not crowded, I feel like the security is not safe. That's how I feel. But I just go. I just attack and go the way it is. So this side where I'm walking is where I walk in that night every day i don't know for how long <laughs> but i've done it for the last uh as far as i can remember uh it's, it's been now six months me doing this but i love it because i love to come to kampala the capital city <laughs> i love coming here yeah. and it gets me somehow busy. Remember that I'm not unemployed and all that. So, and I don't want to be there without using my energy. 
So I'd rather come and use my energy from filming in Kampala while walking. This is the way that I'm dressed today. That's the way that I'm dressed. Yeah. I use what I have. The clothes that I have is what I use. Yeah. But sometimes I feel I don't know why today I'm not energetic. <laughs> and yet I've just started walking. <laughs> so I'm just imagining by the time I reach halfway this distance how I will will be. It's really funny. But I will just keep on being strong. I'll just keep on learning how to be strong, right? That's what I will do. Like somebody really yesterday tried grab the phone, but I can imagine right now I could because I, I got this phone as a gift. It was like a miracle. I was filming with my laptop, but I couldn't do vlogs because I can't carry a laptop with me filming. I could just place a, a laptop somewhere and start filming. But this phone came as a gift to me. So somebody tried to really grab it and it was on a border and that video if you see that video mostly that video is 30 minutes but when i was recording that video it's because that guy tr tried to inter that guy into inter inter what how is that guy called how is that world called inter inter what oh i'm forgetting that word interrupted yeah interrupted me while i was filming and the video is 12 minutes i don't like it so because i'm not that energetic i'm drinking some more water but it's like i'm really using drinking a lot of water and i should be sparing the water that i have Yes, Kampala again looks empty, man. So people are still on the strike. The people are still striking. It's 2024, uh, April. Uh, I think today is 19th. Uh, yeah. So I don't know the time you're watching this video. Maybe it's 2025. I don't know. See who knows. <laughs> But I feel today, I feel like really um, I'm just pushing my body, just pushing, I'm not even walking. Okay, I'm walking for the sake of using my legs, but I'm just pushing my body, <laughs> just pushing the body. This is a, right now I'm no longer scared, even if somebody comes and tries <laughs> to, to take my phone. I'm tired on it. <laughs> yeah. It can't happen now. I believe so. And that's what I will be doing every time when I come in the public because I was risking a lot. I can imagine if that guy really succeeded in taking this phone right now I could be I won't be making I could be not making any videos. Because as I tell you my condition How could I have gotten a new phone? Could have been very hard. I could have, I could have stopped like making videos for a while. It would be very sad. Yeah. But uh, I'm so grateful to God, Allah, the universe, and me myself for being extra vigilant. Yeah. He didn't succeed in taking my phone. But I can imagine if he did succeed, man, I would, be, I would be very, very, very sad, like, being very sad. Yeah. But it didn't happen, thank God. So I'm looking at mattresses, and I've wanted to have a new mattress for all. I don't know. I don't like the mattress that I sleep on, man. Okay, I'm grateful that I have it. But I've slept on it for how many years now? 
on one mattress like I've slept in that mattress for yeah, I think it's coming to because I got that mattress in 20 20 what 2018 and I'm sleeping on that same mattress still now and I have some bad memories on that mattress so I really want to get a new mattress new blanket new bed sheets oh my god God, you should test me with money. God, like I'm asking myself, like God, you really should test me with some money. Whether like I want to reform my life. I want to get a new place where I'm staying. Get a new mattress. I don't like beds. Like the furniture, the bed. I don't like it. I prefer sleeping down. Like sleeping on a flat floor. That's what I prefer. I may be sleeping on something, but I don't prefer beds anymore. I just don't like them anymore. Yeah. But that mattress, I don't like it anymore. I don't like it. I used to sleep on that mattress with some people. Yeah. I used to sleep on that mattress with some people, and I'm no longer with those people. But I just want to change. Look at that camera. I don't know if it's seeing me. Okay, I was saying, I need a new mattress. And I was asking God to try to test me with some money. Is it about money or a way that I can get myself a new mattress? Yeah. But I'm thankful that I have a mattress even. But I'm just, because I'm a human being, yeah, I deserve change. So I need to change. Yeah. So the other night there's a there's a night I, I think you there's a video. That guy grabbed my phone. But I'll be using this measure every time. I'll be using this measure every time so nobody can grab my phone anymore. Unless they are taking my hand with it. Yeah. So that guy who tried to grab my phone, it's like, he gave me a wake up call. Hey, you guy, you should be protective of the phone. Try to protect it. Yes, even if it's not giving me the quality that I want, but at least it's giving me the ability to record some videos. As I wait on to getting that phone or that camera that will give me that, up, that quality. That I, I want. Oh my god. So it's very funny when you're in the city compared to when you're in the village. Where I come from is a village. Okay, I don't want to use, to use that word called village, but it's still developing. Yeah? Okay, this is the major city, Kampala. But it's very funny when I'm in the Kampala, I can walk for a long distance. Like, this distance here, it takes me almost one hour to walk. But when I'm walking, like, when I'm walking this distance, yeah, sometimes I feel very tired. I feel very tired sometimes, but sometimes I'm not tired at all. Because my eyes, I think, they are seeing people, they are seeing buildings and all that. So it's very funny, but when I'm walking in the village, it's very funny that even a shorter distance, I feel that I can't take it because I'm not seeing any people. I'm seeing bushes, I'm seeing, and all that. Yeah. Oh my God. I can walk fast. I can walk like. Like a soldier. I don't know. I'm not, I don't see soldiers walking. I don't want to refer like a soldier. Because I've never seen a soldier here walking. So like an, I can walk very fast. But because sometimes I'm on little energy. Yeah. I love to reserve that little energy. But at the same time. At the same time. Okay. I love showing people love, but I remember not everybody loves to be given love to. 
So that's why I feel him like this. But I can feel him like this. It's not that I fear. No, no, I don't. But I just respect the privacy of the people. Some people don't want their privacy to be distorted or displayed. I don't know the right word to use. I've just found myself using those words. Okay. So I'll walk, but a good thing you are here. You are here with me, man. It feels amazing. It's really love. Yeah. Can you imagine, like, I used to walk this distance alone. But I know it's, this is just a time. And I predict. Because I want that what I'm predicting to come true. I predict that... Because I'm going to this place where I get internet to upload these videos and to stream. But I, I predict that a time is going to come when I have the things at my hand. Yeah? Because that internet, it can be, I can get that internet, right? The people that have that internet, that, that internet that I use to stream, the people that have it. Yeah? So a time is going to come when I have all those things. So I was here remembering, I don't know why, I don't know if it happens to me only, but I don't know like, if it happens to me only, or maybe it happens to other people. I was here remembering of the bad habits that I had. I used to chase, I used to chase around females, man. I don't know. I used to chase and I tried to validate myself before females, which was sick. I don't like it. And I'm asking myself, why, did, why would I, like, why was I doing it? Because I don't like it. Oh, maybe, maybe because of the area. Maybe because of the area that I was in. I know all that. Like, like most of the times I say that people look at me, stare at me, but then I blame myself. Why do I have to stare back? <laughs> because how can I say that the people look are looking at me when I'm looking at them also? So it's a two-way. It's a two-way thing. But I'll just keep my retention to the road where I'm going. But like sometimes I feel when I'm really tired. I feel like when I'm you know like if you if you you're walking with somebody the distance can be it can be a long distance but it can be a shorter distance compared when you're walking alone. When you're walking alone, that distance is it's a distance, it's long and all that. <laughs> oh my god. You know what's very funny to me? <laughs> I'll tell you what is very funny. I don't know if I find it funny when it's not funny. When these people look at me like I'm asking like I'm asking myself like what do they want me to do for them? <laughs> That's what I'm asking myself. What do these people want me to do for them? Yes, you've seen me, uh huh. What? Because I'm just. <laughs> so. But, like I've said, it's a two way thing. These people look at me and I look at them. Yeah. But me. For me, I'm not judgmental. I don't like judging people anymore. I used to, to judge people. I used to do it. But then I got to know that that's negative energy, bad energy. So I don't judge people anymore. I just, I just love people. Just love them. Yeah. Because I love to be loved too. I love, <laughs> I love to be loved too, yeah. 
So I've been looking at my shoe. My shoe is very funny, but it's the available shoe that I have. Look at my shoe. Yeah. It's really funny. When I was a kid, I used to love shoes. Yes, up to now, I still love shoes, like good shoes. But I just learned to adapt. So I just adapted. So if these are the shoes that are available that I'm having, so I just adapted to these shoes until I get those shoes that I want. I really love those fancy shoes. The Nike, the Adidas, the what? Give me some brands. But those brands are all from America, right? I want some brands from Africa that are made from Africa. We love Nike, okay. Adidas, okay. Puma, okay. What else? Those brands that you say that you love those brands. I love All Stars. Yeezy. <laughs> Yeezy Kanye West. Oh. But I love something from Africa, man. Like from Uganda. Because those brands have been there, like Nike has been there. I love those shoes, but I find myself that these are the shoes that are available. I was wearing the other brown shoes, but those shoes got torn. Like, I could still be wearing them because I don't care wearing one shoe for whatever time that you think. I don't care. As long as that shoe serves the purpose. So right now, I don't like this shoe that I'm wearing. I don't like it, but because it's the one that's serving the purpose right now, it's the one that's helping me right where I'm supposed to be going. So, it's, I'm just adapting to it, right? Like, let me, let me tell you something. I don't know. When the statistics say that there are more females than males, right? Like, there are more women. Women, females. Let me just call them females than males. But when I come to Kampala, for real, I see more men. I see, like, lesser females. I don't know. I can see, like, two females and I see, like, 100 males. I don't know why it's like that. I thought like the females were many compared to. Is it only in Uganda or? Or maybe it's upon my eyes. <laughs> I like, it's one of the reasons as to why I really need to, I want to, to do these videos. To come to look at a different people. But I come and I see like, some females. All you see males, 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 males. All over. So the city is still again empty, man. Why? I had like the other guy was telling me that they are resolving their issues today. Today is the day that they are supposed to be meeting the president of this country called Uganda. <laughs> but I was telling the other guy, man, I was seeing the president meeting other other people like is the president really concerned <laughs> but it's very funny man <laughs> it's like the president of this country when you look at the photos they call him a wise man <laughs> they call the president of this country a wise man mm. because he knows politics or what he knows management, whatever. But people call him a wise man. So some people disagree with him, disagree with the fact that he's been a president for 40 years or for 35 years. But where they need to give him credit, where they need to give him the respect, you find that people are giving him that respect. So I love it because, but when I see him in the photos, he's a funny guy, man. 
but he's, he seems a very serious person. But he has a character that is likable, man. I don't know how he does it. Like you can, when you look at the president of this country, when you look, it's called Museveni. President Museveni. You might not agree with him, you might say whatever. But it's very funny. Me, I don't have any history with him. But whenever I see him, I laugh. Or I just become happy and all that. He's just, he has that character. A likable character. You can be hearing people disagreeing with him, abusing him, and all that. But you can find the same people when he's talking, those people are laughing, or they want to see him. Or maybe he's just the president. Maybe he has that title of the president. Whatever. Yeah. So I've worked for 26 minutes right now. The distance that I've covered in the 26 minutes. Uh, oh my god, it's very funny. <laughs> It's very funny to get noticed, but the good thing is that these people are noticing me when I'm filming a video, when I'm on work. So this is this is 2024, and making YouTube videos. There's a person called me that has a job of making YouTube videos. <laughs> it's, it's funny that this job is not paying me. But because the job, nobody tells me how to dress. Because this job of making these YouTube videos, nobody tells me that you should be dressing like this way. That's one of the reasons as to why. I love this job of making YouTube videos. Though it's not paying me, but I feel like I love it. Because nobody is telling me that this is wrong. This is right. I don't have to respond to anybody. Yeah? So it's like a business. It's like an entrepreneurship business, right? It's upon me to do it. And I love doing it. And I'm gonna do it more and more and more and more and more until I feel like I'm satisfying myself. Oh, I'm satisfied. Yeah? So, I feel very confident today. Do you know why? Because I feel like I'm holding the phone. Yeah, I, okay, I'm very confident most of the time. Very, very confident. And I attribute that to my running. Because when I look at these people, all of these people here, <laughs> I ask myself, like, these movies that I see, ask myself, who is the man here who can take me here? <laughs> That's one thing of with running. With running, you start seeing like yourself and you. It's not good to compare yourself with other people. But you know your progress and you ask yourself these people, can they take me? Is anybody here who can take me? And I don't see anybody who can take me. The only thing that they can take me with. Because some of them have the ability to money, or some of them have the access to money, or some of them have access to money, or some of them know how to make money. Those only. But with the body, with the body and mind, I don't see. <laughs> That's a bold statement to say, but I said what I said. I don't see anybody. Whether rich, whether famous, whether what, who can take me? I don't see anyone. And I don't like sharing. But because I know it, then it makes me... Then I love to be so, so down to earth. I love to be so kind. Man, the shops are still closed. They are still closed. Today is Friday. So it's, this thing has been running for a whole week. It's been running for a whole week. And these people are not working, man. It's really sad. 
This place here, I have friends that work from here. But they're not working, man. It's not good. I don't like it. I don't like it. So I don't know when they will resolve this issue of these people not working. Because it's been running for almost a week. I don't know, is it a week? Yeah. I started saying this place. Like I started saying the place, this place has been closed for almost now a week. <laughs> for almost a week now. So it's not good because I know I don't wish for anybody to be in my shoes. Maybe God put me in my shoes because He knows maybe I can handle them or maybe. But. So. I don't know when the government will step up and come into the matters of these people or look into the matter of these people, but it's all good. But me, I just bypass Kampala. I have friends here, but they're not working. <laughs> And sometimes I look at people and I laugh, man. But I just want to give them love, man. I don't want to be a negative person. These people, man, have their pain. They have been not working for for a week. Yeah. Me, I've not worked for how many years? I don't know. I work every day because I film these videos. This is also work because somebody is doing it, right? I don't know how you term the word work. Yes, work has to be tied to money, right? If that's how you term the word work. But the way that I term the word work, work is something that somebody has to do. So I've been, so I've been doing it. Yeah? <laughs> that guy who thought of my TikToker. No, no, I'm not a TikToker, man. I love TikTok, but TikTok has a tendency of I don't know if it's correct, my analysis, but what I've observed, if you make videos, those videos are, are pushed more in your country. It's good, but me, I don't like it. I don't believe that the world stops in my country. That's why I don't, I don't agree with TikTok. Yeah? I feel like... So I, I was making videos on TikTok there, putting them there, but they are not even, they don't have a creator part. Ah. Let me just stop talking about TikTok. I love YouTube. YouTube is my thing. YouTube is my love. YouTube is my heart. It's the love of my life. YouTube. Although the love of my life has taken long, to put me in the creator pattern, it's called pattern. How is that called? Uh, YouTube, 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 YouTube creator pattern program. Yeah, the love of my life has taken long to put me in the program, but I'm still holding on to that love of my life, YouTube. So I want to evolve more. I want to make music, and I'm going to make music. And I upload it on the love of my life, which is YouTube. Yeah, but I'm just waiting for the right time for me to start making music. This is the right time for me to be making music. It's the right time, but the resources. So like, I was like thinking, if I have to be making music, I have to go to producers here in Uganda. But they are charging me a lot of money. And the amount of money that they are charging me, it can help me. Like if, like for example, there's a, a label here called Swangs Avenue in Uganda. I went there, they didn't even allow me to see the studio. They asked me for one million Ugandan shillings. Yeah, to record one song, man. So that's very expensive very expensive so I was like if I get money I will just buy make my own studio yeah that's what I want to make my own studio 
So if that money I have to put one million Ugandan shillings to Swans Avenue or buy equipment and I make my own studio. So I bought the idea of making my own studio. That's what I bought. Oh. I've seen somebody that I know. <laughs> it's very funny, do you know why? I've met somebody that I know. <laughs> but they roll their eyes away. <laughs> like, you meet somebody that you know, like, okay, I can recognize this person. But this person rolled their eyes away, didn't want me to see them. But it's okay. It's okay, man. I don't know, because of the way that I look right now. Maybe. But it's okay. It is very okay. But she looked amazing. She was somebody that I went to school with. And she rolled her eyes on me. She didn't want me to see her. But I'd seen her already. That's how the world is. That's how. Maybe it's about me. But I love me. These are just clothes. They don't represent me. Yeah. These are just clothes. They don't represent my me, what I can do, my ability. If somebody can look at the way that I dress and they judge me by the way that I dress, I feel like it's upon them. But if she wanted me to show her some love, I would, show, I would have shown her some love, but she rolled her eyes on me and I couldn't say hi. So I respected it. Okay, so I feel very bad for these people, not like their shops have been closed for a week. Some people live for today, man. Some people live for today, like in Uganda, the reality. If some people don't come to Kampala, they don't eat, so I'm very worried of those people that have to come to Kampala and eat. But that's how it is. So it's about being strong. It's about being strong. But I didn't feel good. Like somebody that I knew didn't want me to say hi. It's okay. It's a big world, right? If some people don't want to show love to you, you can get that love from other people. Yeah? <laughs> like, let me tell you, I see these people a lot, like, the people wear these people a lot. They wear Tupac, like here in Uganda, I don't know in other countries, I see people wearing mostly Tupac. <laughs> but, but, like, I'm asking myself, Tupac, like, that guy really impacted a lot of people, what? Because people wear Tupac. They wear Bob Marley. Tupac, Bob Marley, but Tupac is the most, like, is the guy that I see mostly, and I see Bob Marley, yeah. So, like, Bob Marley and Tupac, they compete. Then here in Uganda, the, people, the other person is radio. I see radio a lot, Mozart Radio. I see him a lot, man. Then I see Bobby Wine. I see people wearing Bobby Wine. Yo, I see some people wearing Eddie Kenzo. I see some people wearing uh, the photos that I see people wearing mostly Tupac, Bob Marley, then Radio, Bobby Wine. Uh, uh, so that's why I'm the, the other people that I see, but mostly I see, I see, I see Radio and Bobby Wine. Yes, and Chameleon. People wear Chameleon. Yeah, people wear diamond, diamond platinums. 
I've seen people here, here wearing their video. I've seen people wearing whiskey. Hey, and banner boy. The pe people wear banner boy. Uh, like, I want to remember all the, the, the times that I've seen people wearing these guys. But mostly Tupac. I mean, like, everybody, whether young, they wear that guy called Tupac. Yeah. So I've just said what I see. So when I see people wearing... <laughs> Oh my god, I can't imagine this is the way that I'm dressed. I, I want to also judge myself by the way that I dress. But I'm past that judging. I'm past judging myself by the way that I dress. I'm past that. I just got to know about content of character. So I judge myself by the content that comes out of me. Yeah? That's how I judge myself. <laughs> I've seen somebody giving me a funny look, like a crazy look. Like the person rolled eyes, like, oh my god. But it's okay. But, but me, I'm very open. If I meet anybody that I know, if I meet anybody that I started with, I love to say hi. But I didn't want to say hi. Oh my god. There's music here. I have to walk as fast. Ah, because I don't want to get into some copyright issues with YouTube. I love I love but that's the thing when you're walking in Kampala, you meet places with music. I love music, but music is copyrighted. So I don't want issues with YouTube. Yeah? I love to see, to look in the mirror and I see myself what I'm doing. <laughs> I just love the physical, when I see the physical part of what I'm doing, I just love it. Yeah? <laughs> but this shoe is very funny. <laughs> the shoe that I'm wearing is really very funny. <laughs> it's making me laugh. I couldn't, when, when I was like, if my younger self sees me right now, you couldn't, you can't believe that this is me. If I was still 17 years, I would refuse to wear this shoe. <laughs> I would, well, for sure. I was going to say, well, I. I would refuse to wear this shoe. But because right now, <laughs> it's the only shoe that's available. So I'm finding myself just wearing it. And I'm minding about my character, the content out of me. It's no longer about how I dress. It's no longer about how I look. It's no longer about all that. It's about the content of my character. So that's how I look at myself right now. So even if I meet people that knew me, they knew how I used to dress, that is a long time ago. I used to think that when I look good, I will, when I dress a certain way, I will be like this you now. I don't think like that anymore. Right now, I think of within content of character because I want to represent myself more. I want my creativity out. I want myself free out of the boundaries of the limitation of clothes, color, a tribe, and all that. To be free with the content of my character, yeah? That's how I look at myself right now. Okay. Can you imagine? I've worked for... 44, 44 minutes walking. Yes, I'm walking for real. Like walking for real. It's not easy to walk every day. But I had to walk because I am an African. <laughs> and they say that Africans we have a strong blood. Our blood is strong. Like, can you imagine? That's what they call Africans. Africans are the toughest people not to be racist and all that but that's what they say with the poverty that is in Africa we handle it uh, the diseases we handle them the what the few opportunities we survive 
So my blood is African. So I'm Africa. I come from Africa. But I'm very open. <laughs> Sometimes I'm really funny to myself. Because I just know it that people look at me. I just know that people stare at me. Oh, good start. I wanted to see that smiling. <laughs> so like I, like I used to be so insecure about my teeth. This missing gap. I used to be so insecure. But again I was like, when will I for how long will I be insecure about my missing teeth? So, but I just got to know that when I get money, I will work on my teeth. I'm not insecure anymore. But of course when I get some money, I will work on my teeth. So, I was telling you. So this place here, some people know me. Some people can recognize me. So they see me walking. It's not fun to see somebody walking, somebody not walking. It's not fun. Oh, I want to see that one smiling. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I feel like I've conquered Uganda. So I want to go and conquer USA. I want to go and conquer Nairobi. I want to go and conquer Brazil. Oh, I have a friend called Andy. Andy was telling me he's from Switzerland. I want to go there too. A friend, I have a friend called from Brazil. I want to go to Brazil. I have friends from United States of America. I want to go there. I want to just I want to go and see these people man because they are there. It's real that those people are there. Like I'm here. It's real. <laughs> so <laughs> so I need to run more because with running running helped me boost my confidence. Okay, I had confidence. But my confidence levels were very limited. But with running, it helped me become, it have unlimited confidence. I can smile in the public. I can walk in the public. I can do anything that might scare another person. Me, I can do it. And because and because I used to move a lot, it's normal to me. And because like I used to move a lot, I was saying. And because I used to move a lot, but I didn't have a phone, I didn't have a camera. And nobody could see me moving. Yes, people could see me moving, but I didn't have like a camera to record myself moving. So I was gifted with a camera. I can move while recording myself. It's really fun. Sometimes it's not fun because I get to sweat. But I love to sweat. I love. And I love it when people... <laughs> I just love it when people look at me, man. It makes me happy. It makes me feel alive. Yeah? Because there's a time when I was really, really, really sad. I couldn't smile. There's a time I was really annoyed. I was annoyed 
I could walk when I'm very annoyed. I was, I didn't want to see anybody. Like I was so tough. There, there's, that time was there, but I learned that that won't bring me any good. That's what I learned. I learned it won't bring me any good. So I decided to just change. Be a joyful person. Be a happy person. But there's another thing that, okay, I used to be kind and all that. But the border men that have been giving me lifts, those men have made me to be, to want to be the kindest. I don't know if that term is even correct to say that I want to be the most kindest person on earth. Because those guys take me every day without a single coin. It's not, I'm not bragging to say it. I'm just giving praises to the Almighty God and thanking those guys, man, every day. It's not because, but when I get some money, I'll be paying. But they do it to, like, for, for me every day. Yeah? They do it for me every day, man. So I'm really thankful. I could have kept quiet and I don't say about it. So nobody would ever know. But I, I feel like when I keep quiet, I'm not giving the praises to God. That's like... The people, the way that people say, like, glory belongs to God, right? That's what I see most people writing on their cars. Glory belongs to God. So I feel like when I talk about it, I'm giving glory to God. To Almighty God, to Allah. To whatever. So I just talk about it. Yeah? And to thank those men. I might not remember most of, the, most of their faces. I don't remember them. Like, because, like I told you, my eyes, when you look at my eyes, my eyes are somehow short-sighted. I don't want to limit myself to say that I'm short-sighted and all that. But when I went to the doctor who checked me, I don't know if it was correct, but I don't believe it. But, but that's what they told me. I really need to cross this road and go ahead the other side. Like... Sometimes, I really need to be fast. So, the good thing about these shoes, I don't like the appearance and all that. But when I decide to walk very fast, I can walk very fast with these shoes. Like, I can walk faster in these shoes compared to the other shoes. Very fast. <laughs> oh, no. I just have to focus on myself. I can, I feel like when I look at people, I, I become judgmental. And I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that person. Yes, it's fun to other people to judge other people because it takes, like some people feel like when you judge another person, it takes away that. But. I feel like it doesn't add anything to you and it's the truth. <laughs>